Welcome back, y'all. So if y'all know anything about me up to this point, you know that I have a love for chainsaws, as you can see. So one thing that I've noticed that I have not touched on on previous videos, um, and that is what is uh, the best chainsaw in each budget category. And I'm gonna break that down a little bit further here in a minute. I have some videos, if y'all are in the market for chainsaws, um, how to choose a chainsaw. And then I have other videos about pairing different chainsaws if you have multiple chainsaws. So go check those out. I'll put links to those videos uh, down in the description. But this is just gonna be talking about what are some of the best chainsaws in each budget category uh, to give y'all an idea. If y'all are just getting into chainsaws, um, I just wanna share some of the research that I've, get, I've done over the years and hopefully that helps some of you guys. But to start off, there's really three different categories of chainsaws and those are homeowner grade chainsaws, farm and ranch chainsaws, and pro grade chainsaws. In the homeowner range of chainsaws, you're looking at chainsaws that are used for pruning around the house or just kind of upkeeping, upkeeping the, the property. Whenever I think of a homeowner grade chainsaw, I'm thinking in a residential setting um, where you're upkeeping the trees that you have on your place or you're cutting firewood. In terms of cc's, we're looking at anywhere from around 30 cc's to about 50 cc's. In terms of the price, for homeowner grade chainsaws, we're looking at 150-ish to all the way up to about 400. For homeowner grade chainsaws, for steel, we're looking at uh, the MS-170, the MS-180. Um, there's also a 210, a 250. This one right here, this is a 180. Um, whenever I was living in the city, um, this was my saw. My wife actually got this for me. This was uh, one of my first chainsaws. And actually this was my first chainsaw. Little did my wife know uh, what she started. <laughs> really, I'm not, I'm not gonna point y'all to a particular brand. I'm gonna let y'all decide for yourself because y'all know what your dealer is in your area. Y'all know what the best option is for you in terms of warranty and all those kind of things. But for steel, I'm gonna say, get yourself a 170 or a 180. If you're only looking for one saw, you might jump up to a 250. Uh, 250 is a nice kind of middle grade uh, chainsaw for a homeowner. And it works really good for a firewood chainsaw as well. And then for Husqvarna, a 340 is a good chainsaw. Uh, the 120 I've heard is a pretty good chainsaw. Then you're looking at jumping up. And so now, now I'm gonna talk about the farm and ranch chainsaws for steel and for Husqvarna. If you're looking for a heavy duty firewood chainsaw and you're cutting a lot of firewood, I would jump up to a farm and ranch chainsaw. The farm and ranch is about 400 to just under 600 right now. So let's start with Husqvarna. Um, they have a 440, a 450, a 455, and a 460. Um, I think everything up from a, I believe 440 or 450, y'all can correct me down in the comments, but is called a rancher. Those are for like my type of property um, where you've got to upkeep a piece of property, you gotta upkeep some land. Um, this is also where you're looking at cutting a lot of, of firewood. Um, and then I'll, I'll touch on the steels. You've got the MS-271, the MS-291, there's an MS-391. The 271 is probably one of the most popular in terms of the farm and ranch. Great saw, works really great. I've used one. That's probably where I would point you to first in terms of steel. And then I've heard really good things about the 450 and the 455 Rancher. Um, both really good chainsaws as well. Um, it really depends on the diameter of the uh, trees that you're gonna be cutting. Uh, but if you watch that video that I was talking about, about choosing a chainsaw, um, I speak to those kind of things in that video. Now, jumping up from the farm and ranch chainsaws up to the pro level chainsaws. Now you're talking in terms of price, anything from about $600 plus. So it can go on up to several thousand dollars, just depending on if you're getting a, a huge chainsaw for, for uh, uh, running a chainsaw mill. Really, if you're jumping up to the pro level chainsaws, I'm gonna assume that you're either a landscaper, you're cutting trees for a living, you're cutting firewood um, as a side hustle or something like that. So um, yes, the price will matter, but it will start to not matter as much because you're making money with your saws. So 
it makes sense to jump up to those pro level chainsaws at that point. The entry level pro saws are the 550 uh, from Husqvarna or the MS261 um, from Steel. Both great saws. Um, you really can't go wrong with either one of them. I have several different videos on those saws and, and running them against each other. So go check those videos out as well. Those are right above that 600 mark, at least right now, um, as I'm speaking today. And then from there, you've got on the Husqvarna, the 60cc saw is the 562, also a great saw. And then jumping up from there, a 70cc saw is the uh, 572, also a really good saw. It, it looks a lot like this uh, 550 Mark II. And then you can still, at this moment, you can still get the old 372. And then for steel, um, jumping up from the 261, they have a 362 and now they have a 400 um, steel, which is kind of right in between um, those, uh, the 60cc class and right under that 70cc class. And then the uh, 462 is the 70cc saw from steel. Great saw, very lightweight, um, also a really good choice. And then you jump up to the uh, 500i, which is uh, the first fuel injected chainsaw awesome saw, very lightweight for the power that it's got, um, really unmatched in its class. There's not really anything that compares to it currently um, as we speak. It's a 79cc saw. And then you can jump up from there and get the 661 and then on up from there and get the 880. I just kind of wanted to give you all an idea of the different price ranges. So to recap, we're talking for homeowner grade chainsaws between 150 and 400. The farm and ranch is anywhere from 400 to 600. On the pro saws, as I mentioned, those are 600 and above. If you have questions about any of these saws, down in the, you can put them down in the comments. And let me know um, what's your favorite chainsaw and what do you use it for? Give me an idea of what the price range was on it whenever you got it. I know there's other chainsaw brands out there. Obviously there's Echo is one of the biggest ones. Don't forget to check out those other videos that I have on choosing a chainsaw. I also have uh, videos on choosing a, a bar length on a chainsaw. That's going to be it for today. I appreciate you guys joining me. If you like videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, get outside and do something you love.